Let's get right into it. History is littered with what ifs. We're talking revolutionary tech like self-healing concrete and unbreakable glass that could have catapulted us centuries ahead. But because of ego, fear, or just plain bad luck, these secrets vanished into thin air. Imagine where we'd be today if these brilliant minds hadn't taken their formulas to the grave. Let's dive into the greatest lost inventions. Number 7. The Hairdresser's Impossible Plastic Imagine you're holding a raw egg. Now, imagine pointing a blowtorch at it for 5 minutes straight. Normally, you'd have a smelly omelette and a charred mess. But what if that egg remained stone cold to the touch and perfectly raw inside Enter Morris Ward? An English hairdresser who probably got tired of burnt hair and decided to rewrite the laws of physics in his kitchen during the 80s. He invented Starlight, a material so cracked it could withstand a laser beam hitting 10,000 degrees Celsius that's nearly twice as hot as the surface of the sun. In a famous TV demonstration, he coated an egg in this stuff, blasted it, and then cracked it open to show it was still liquid. NASA was basically sliding into his DMs, begging for the recipe to shield their spacecraft. It was like finding a cheat code for the universe, making modern thermal tiles look like cheap wet cardboard. But here's the kicker. Ward was so paranoid about being ripped off that he refused to patent it or tell anyone how he made it. He died in 2011 taking the secret to the world's greatest shield to his grave. We literally had the power to make fireproof cities, but now it's just a ghost story because one guy was too scared to share his toys. Good luck sleeping tonight knowing your house could have been dragonproof. Number 6. The unbreakable glass that cost a head. Imagine you're at a high-stakes Roman banquet, the kind with gold plates and questionable wine. You accidentally drop a beautiful glass bowl. In 2024, that's a there goes my security deposit moment. But in this scenario, the glass doesn't shatter into a million jagged pieces. It just dents like a soda can. You pick it up, take a small hammer and tap it back into shape right there at the table. This sounds like a late night infomercial for a screen protector. But Roman historians claim a craftsman actually invented vitrum flexile or flexible glass. He presented it to Emperor Tiberius, thinking he'd become the ancient world's version of a tech billionaire. This material was basically the indestructible Nokia Furfury 10 of glassware transparent as crystal, but tough as a car fender. It was a discovery that could have triggered the Industrial Revolution 2,000 years early. Instead of giving the man a patent and a parade, Tiberius asked one chilling question. Does anyone else know your secret? When the craftsman proudly said no, Tiberius had him beheaded on the spot. The emperor was terrified that if glass became unbreakable, his hordes of gold and silver would become as worthless as a pile of gravel. Imagine being so rich you'd rather execute a genius than let your jewelry lose its flex appeal. Talk about the ultimate toxic boss move. Number 5. The 8 Kilobyte Movie Revolution Imagine you're trying to download a high-def movie on a spotty Wi-Fi connection. It says 4 hours remaining and you're about ready to throw your router into the sun. Now, imagine if that entire 2-hour blockbuster was so small it could fit inside a file the size of a single text message. In the late 90s, a Dutch technician named Jan Sloot claimed he'd invented the god mode of data compression. He created a system that could squeeze a full-length feature film into just 8 kilobytes. To give you some perspective, that's like trying to fit the entire content of Netflix into a single vintage Game Boy cartridge. Tech giants and investors were literally drooling, ready to hand slew a mountain of cash because this tech would have made our modern fiber optic internet look like a carrier pigeon. It would have basically broken the laws of physics as we know them. But here's the final destination twist. Just days before signing the deal of a lifetime, Sloot suddenly dropped dead of a heart attack in his garden. The magic compiler software needed to read his files was stored on a single floppy disk that vanished into thin air immediately after his death. It's gone. Somewhere out there, a dusty piece of plastic worth trillions is probably sitting in a basement, while we're all still out here paying for extra iCloud storage like suckers. Good luck not thinking about that next time your video starts buffering. Number 4 the lightsaber of the Middle Ages. Imagine you're a crusader knight in the 12th century, decked out in your heavy plate armor, feeling like an absolute tank. Suddenly, an opponent swings a blade with a hypnotic, wavy pattern. Before you can even blink, this sword slices through your shield like a hot knife through butter. 
and then just for a flex it catches a silk scarf floating in the breeze and cleaves it in half. You're not just outmatched, you're looking at technology that feels like it was dropped here by a time-traveling blacksmith. This is Damascus Steel, the OG cheat code of ancient warfare. These blades weren't just sharp, they were flexible enough to bend 90 degrees and snap back like a spring. Modern scientists eventually peeked at these ancient swords under an electron microscope and basically had a meltdown because they found carbon nanotubes. Yeah, actual nanotechnology in the year 1100. It's like finding a functioning Wi-Fi router in a caveman's hut. The secret relied on a specific ore from India called Woots. But once those mines ran dry and the grumpy master smiths decided to take their recipes to the grave, the art vanished around 1800. We've spent centuries trying to replicate it, but the original soul of the blade is gone. It's a bit dark when you realize we can build AI that writes poetry, yet we still can't recreate a piece of metal our ancestors used to chop each other up. History didn't just lose the recipe, it hit delete on the entire hard drive. Number 3. The Ancient Napalm That Loved Water Imagine you're a medieval sailor, feeling invincible on your massive wooden ship. Suddenly, a Byzantine vessel pulls up and sprays a mysterious liquid across your deck. You think, no big deal, I'm literally floating on the world's biggest fire extinguisher, the ocean. But as you splash seawater on the flames, they don't go out, they get angrier, they burn hotter. The water itself seems to be fueling your ship's funeral pyre while you're still on it. This was Greek fire, the Byzantine Empire's ultimate delete button for enemy fleets. Invented in the 7th century, it was basically medieval napalm, but way more terrifying because it was chemically allergic to being put out. It acted like that one toxic friend who gets more dramatic the more you try to calm them down. The Byzantines guarded this recipe like it was the secret formula for Coca-Cola, but with more beheadings involved. Only the emperor and a single family knew the exact chemical mix. They used pressurized siphons to blast this liquid hell onto ships, making naval warfare look like a Michael Bay movie long before CGI was even a dream. The dark irony, they were so obsessed with gatekeeping the secret that when the empire finally crumbled, the formula evaporated into history. We've spent centuries trying to recreate it, but we're still just guessing. Humanity essentially lost the most powerful weapon of the ancient world because someone refused to hit reply all on a group chat. Number 2. The Library of Alexandria, the Great Delete Key of History Imagine you're living in 300 BC, but instead of worrying about the plague, you're looking up blueprints for a steam engine or a precise map of the stars. You aren't using an iPad, you're in Alexandria, the original cloud where every genius idea on earth was stored in papyrus form. It was the ultimate Wikipedia, just with more dust and better handwriting. This place was basically the Google of the ancient world. It held hundreds of thousands of scrolls covering everything from advanced surgery to early robotics. But then, a series of oopsies happened. Julius Caesar accidentally set part of it on fire. And later, religious riots and budget cuts finished the job. It's like if someone permanently deleted the entire internet and burned down every server farm on the planet. We lost centuries of progress because we couldn't keep our matches away from the world's only backup drive. We're talking about a level of knowledge that makes a modern PhD look like a coloring book. The dark irony, some experts estimate this loss set human technology back by over a thousand years. If those scrolls had survived, we'd probably be vacationing on Mars right now instead of arguing over TikTok filters. We aren't living in the future, we're just playing a very long pay me painful game of catch up. Sleep well, knowing we're basically repeating a grade we already passed. Number 1. The concrete that refuses to die. You look at your driveway and see it's already cracking after just 5 years. It's frustrating. Right now, look at the Roman Colosseum. It's been sitting there for 2,000 years, through earthquakes and wars, and it's still standing stronger than your local shopping mall. It's like comparing an indestructible old Nokia to a modern smartphone that shatters if you even look at it wrong. The secret isn't just luck, it's ancient biohacking for rocks. For centuries, engineers thought the Romans were just messy builders because of the weird white lumps found in their concrete. Turns out, those lime clasts were a genius self-repair kit. This material is basically the wolverine of the construction world. When a crack forms and rainwater seeps in, it reacts with the lime to create a chemical scab that seals the wound from the inside out. It's literally self-healing masonry. 
We spent Yuan 500 years building infrastructure that rots simply because the Roman Empire went offline and forgot to upload their how-to guide to the cloud. The irony is pretty dark, we call ourselves the peak of civilization, yet we're surrounded by crumbling bridges while 2,000-year-old Roman ruins are still vibing. Our modern world is built on planned obsolescence, while the ancients built for eternity. Sleep tight knowing your apartment building likely has a shorter shelf life than a Roman toilet. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.